Hi guys, it's the Power BI guy here and today I'm going to talk about changing visualizations with buttons within Power BI. Now, before I get started, let me talk about what I mean by changing visuals with buttons. And let me give you an example. Let's take a look at the report that I've opened up here. We have two buttons at the top here called sales by segments and sales by date. Now, let's say we wanted to change this visual with a click of a button to something else. Depending on what your requirements is, this can be visuals, this can be tables. You're just changing between two states and think of it as two different states on the page. It can be two, it can be three buttons. Every button is a different snapshot of a page. So if I click sales by date, we're going to have the line chart. But let's say we want to have a different view or different filter. So what we can do is select sales by segments, which is another button, and it will change the visuals accordingly. Now, you're not limited to just visuals. You can add columns to tables with buttons. You can do quite a lot, and the opportunities are endless with bookmarks. And we'll get into that shortly when I start explaining how we can go about creating this. So without further ado, let's begin and show you how to create bookmarks and buttons. So I've brought in one visual already onto this page. What you want to do is create your visuals and put them all onto the page in whatever design you want. At the moment, I only have one visual, so we want to bring in two more for our different states. So I'm going to go into sales overview and let me bring in sales by segment and sales by region. I'm going to copy that and bring that into here. No. Don't worry about the formatting at this stage. However you want, want the data to be displayed on the page, put it in that in, in the spots that you want. So I want it at this moment to switch between the black visual and the front two visuals. Now, once we've done this, what you can do is let's, let's go to view the view tab and then click bookmarks and then selection. So you're ready to start creating your different views. But hold up, before we get started, we need to bring in our buttons. So let's go to the insert tab click buttons, then blank. So, so we now have our first button. What we can do is add a title to this. So if we go to the format, bu format button, we can go to button text and then give it a title. So I'm gonna give this date and let's create another button. So ins insert buttons blank and we've got our second button. So we've created our two buttons, but they don't actually do anything at this stage. What we want to do now is actually create our two different states for our buttons. So if we come to the bookmark tab, you can see that we have blanks over here. I've created one previously, so I'm going to delete that. And you should see this view when you open up bookmarks. Now, what I'm going to do is if I select one of these, these represent all the different items on the page. So we have our buttons, our different visuals, and next to this, we have these eye icons. Now, what we want to do is let's work with date. For our date visual, all we want to see is the line chart. So what we're going to do is hide sales by region and then hide sales by segment. Now, what we want to do is click add and this will create our first date. So let's call this date. We're going to rename this and call this date. If we click our button, this isn't actually doing anything at this stage. What you need to do is go to format button, come to the bottom here and then click action on and then type bookmark and then select your first state. So we're going to select date and now date has uh, its first state for date. Now, what do we do with segments? We want to bring those segment visuals back. If you haven't selected date, don't select this. All you have to do is unselect what you don't want to see. So we don't want to see the line chart. So we're going to unhide that and then let's bring in our two visuals. Now we want to create another state. So we're going to click add and now we have our second bookmark and let's call this segment. Then once again, we're going to click our button, turn on the action, bookmark and then segment. And now we are done. It's very simple to do. So if I click date, it's going to switch over to date. And if I click segments, it's going to switch over to segment. <laughs> 